Welcome back guys, this is the final episode of Season 1 of my Return to Glory. As you know in the last episode, we completed what you could say is Phase 1. We've, we've got promotion, we're going to be in the Premier League next season. We won the Championship, but today it's time for the FA Cup Final and it's Manchester United. Of course it was, it was between them or Swansea. Man United were always going to beat Swansea if you ask me. We've got that 98 manager rating. If we win the FA Cup, what could it be? First, we've got to beat Manchester United. We've beaten Chelsea. It is possible. It's unlikely, but it is possible. Can we get two huge wins against two huge Premier League opposition in the FA Cup? We'll soon find out. First of all, we are going to do a squad report and see how the team has got on over the season. We'll do this quite quickly, don't worry. So Henderson, obviously not going to be part of our future for long. He's uh, He has stayed the same. Pereira has gone up by six. He's now up to 72. And can I just say, he is incredible. For a 72 rated player, he is unbelievable. Worrell has gone up by eight. Uh, Van Jonglen, although he got injured, went up by six. Pingalos has gone up by two. Obviously, we do have a new left back in Luna. He's coming next season. Abri Yibi has gone up by four. Uh, Cash has gone up by seven. Osborne has gone up by one. Bit of a slow grower, so I might invest in a new centre midfielder next season. And Osborne is a left midfielder. My OCD hates the fact that he is kind of playing out of position, even though I think he's better at centre mid. And the fact that he can play there, of course, as you can see there. Uh, we've got Kai Kai on loan. He's gone up by one. He has scored four goals for us in his 16 appearances. Not too bad. Geraldes has gone up by two to 76. And I believe he's he's done okay. Eight goals, five assists. Not bad. Uh, Abraham, top scorer for us with 17 goals. We got him pretty much for free. A Samba Longa plus a million. Absolute bargain. He's gone up by one to 73. Texier has gone up to 71. Uh, Shibola, obviously going back from his loan next season. We're going to miss him. He's gone up by two. Clough has gone up by two. He's still injured at the moment. Um, our former captain has stayed the same, although it looks like some of his stats still are going up, so he could reach 72. We've got Miguel. He's gone up by one. He got his 10 appearances, as you can see there, so the youth objective has been complete. Mancien, decent player. Really do like him. He's 72 still, though. Uh, McCormack on loan from Aston Villa, just like Shibola. They'll be going back together. And he has stayed the same. Uh, Brereton there up to 61. Vaughan has gone down by two. Cohen looks like he will be going down as well. Uh, Lamb went up by one. Haven't used him too much. He got 15 appearances. He did okay. Uh, Velios went up by one there. Uh, Dumitrude went up by one. Correo has stayed the same. Traore stayed the same. Stojkovic has gone down by one. Hobbs has stayed the same. Ward has gone down by one. Perquise has gone down by one. And then we've got a few players out on loan doing okay, I guess. They're probably not going to be used in this series. When they come back, we'll probably sell them on. So that's the squad report. Now, let's play Manchester United in the FA Cup final. Potentially the biggest game of the season so far. Although what I really wanted was promotion in the league. We've got that now. This is just the cherry on top if we win the FA Cup. Wembley, we meet again. And I'm really nervous about this. I know we beat Chelsea. You could say we got very lucky. They hit the post very late on. But Manchester United, for me, are just that little bit harder to play in FIFA. They've got some extremely strong players. Pogba, Bailly, Martial, Ibrahimovic up top. It's going to be such a tough game. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, player to watch. And Kaikai. Kai. That's the difference we're talking here. So the question is, guys, you saw the trophy before. Can we win the domestic double? Can we beat Manchester United to lift that trophy? Let's take a look at the teams. It looks like Man United have gone full strength, bar a couple of players. Fosu Mensa coming into midfield there, but Bailly and Rojo, very good defenders. I'm glad that Smalling's not playing, though. Carrick's in there as well, but Martial, Ibrahimovic up top. Oh, man, it's going to be... It's going to be so difficult to get that trophy. They really are going to be very difficult to break down with a strong defence. And De Gea, potentially the best keeper in the world in goal. Maybe just behind Neuer. There's Jose Mourinho. I would love to make him cry at the end of this game. This is the lineup I've gone with. Henderson comes in for Miguel. Otherwise, it is the strongest team I can put up right now. I love this team. I've grown to love it. We need one more win this season. Come on, lads. If I can get an early goal... I'll just go Ultra D for the rest of the game. <laughs> no, I won't really. But here's Osborne. We'll play it out onto the right side here for Ari Ibi. What a start this could be. Cross coming in. Geraldes will get the rebound, but that is a weak shot. Now here comes Martial. 
alongside his national teammate Pogba into Ibrahimovic. Oh, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? It really is. He's gone for the shot there. Worrell's blocked it. Oh, no. Right, we get away with that. And now we're on the break. Here goes Cash. Put that through for Abraham. Oh, my God. Please, Abraham, please. Please score this. Oh, it was straight down his throat. De Gea's going to catch that all day. I would say it's been a pretty even start so far, but now Man United is settling down. They're getting a lot of possession. Here's Ibra. Worrell tackles him, but Ibra's so strong. Look at that. He just gets it back straight away. I've missed another tackle. Come on, Ibra. Let me have it. Yes, Osborne. But again, held off by Ibra. Is he going to get a shot away? No, he's giving it to Carrick. Carrick goes for it, and that's going to go out for a throw or a corner. I think it's actually gone for a corner. Oh, damn it. I was hoping it was a throw. It's a little bit less dangerous. So Pogba's going to whip this one in. Ibra's near post. No, what am I doing? Oh, my God. I've given away another corner. Not sure what was going on there. Ibra probably should have just had a shot. He kind of just stared at me for a little bit. Another corner coming in. Ibra's won it again. He's just a nightmare. He really is. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, imagine if that crept in. I've got some rare possession. Can I find a pass? Yes, I can. Here's Osborne. Get it in. Go on. Oh, my God. I hit it too hard. He couldn't control it. That is where I need to make my chances count. I need to score those. Oh, that's another really nice pass. Kai Kai's got it. Oh, this needs to be a shot. Come on. Come on, please. Saved by De Gea. Oh, it's gone in. Pereira, the right back, has actually scored it. It's happening. It's happening. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not going to get excited. It's just a very lucky goal. It's been deflected twice there. It's come off Bailly and then De Gea on its way in. Oh, my God. That is so lucky. That is so, so lucky. We're 1-0 up against Manchester United right before halftime. It's gone down as an own goal. And there's the whistle. It couldn't have been a better time to score. Oh, my God. It's actually happening. Come on. I'm not changing anything. I was very close to changing to five at the back, but... In the past, when I've done that, I've invited more pressure, more attacking style of play from the opposite team. So I'm definitely not doing that against Man United. There's no doubt in my mind they're going to have some chances in this second half. I just need to get lucky and just hold on. Keep this clean sheet. Come on. United have made a change. Carrick has come off and Ander Herrera has come on. So they're definitely going to go for it. He's a bit more of an attacking player maybe than Carrick who sits back and, you know, is the playmaker from deep. Here's Ander Herrera straight away. Over to Martial. Back to Ander Herrera. His shot goes miles wide. Please keep missing these chances. Please. No, 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 Oh, that is... He's running over to Mourinho as well, isn't he? Oh, thank you for not starting me in the biggest game of the season. Oh, look, I've scored. And it's... I can't believe it's Ander Herrera as well. Oh, that is so frustrating. This pass here. I thought I had it. I thought I had it, but Worrell is so slow at turning. His agility is not very high. <sighs> Just one pass splits through the defence like that, and it's one all. Oh, what do I do? Do I just go for it and try and get a second goal? Do I risk not having enough defence back? I just, I don't know. I don't really want to go to extra time because my players have a lot less stamina than the Man United ones, that's for sure. So I guess we're going to have to go for it. Here's Kai Kai now. Try and get a cross in. Oh, go on. No. No, Abraham. No, no, no. How? Look at this. That's got to go in. It's like Man United to flick to switch. All of a sudden, my players turn into absolute idiots. Look at that. Worrell didn't even try and head it out. And all of a sudden, Man United players are all freaking Messi, Ronaldo. Oh, and they've just taken off Ibrahimovic. That could be a godsend. Marcus Rashford is quicker, but come on. He's not Ibrahimovic. That might make things a little bit easier on my defence. Just a couple of minutes to go. Pogba into Rashford. No. Oh, please, please. Yes, it's come off by E. Right, OK, we are going into extra time. I'm really, really proud of the team for, you know, fighting against such a good, strong squad. But we conceded, and that has meant that we're going to have to play the extra time and potentially penalties, which I really wanted to avoid. And this is exactly why I saved my substitutions. I just had a feeling they would score and that we would go to extra time. So Osborne is going to come off and Shibola is going to come in. Oh, what else do I do, though? Do I try bringing in someone like Texera? I think I am. I just need fresh legs. So he will play out on that left side, even though 
I think he's better at Cam. He will still he will have a part a part to play. So hopefully Man United aren't going to make any changes right now. They've already made two. No, they are. So Mata is coming on. Who's coming off then? Pogba. Yes, that's good. That is good. Pogba's come off. Mata comes on. We've got a chance. Come on. Oh my God, what a pass from Mata. I think I spoke too soon. Here's Martial. Oh, Pereira gets back. That was an incredible pass, though. That's what Pogba doesn't do in this game so much. He seems to, to run and dribble with the ball a lot. But Mata's passing. Oh, no. No. It's Baye. Are you freaking mad? It's Baye. Since when could he finish it like freaking Thierry Henry? Oh, and he's running to the manager as well. Go away, Mourinho. Absolutely gutted. It's another fantastic pass in there directly in front of him. Henderson maybe could have done a bit better there, but Bailly at the moment has won it for Manchester United. I need to score. I'm going on all-out attack. No, ultra-attacking. I don't want to concede another one while I'm up the field, so let's just try. Come on. Here is Texera. I'm just going to go for the cross. Oh, Abraham. No. No. I'm so unlucky. I got really lucky against Chelsea, but tonight I feel like, or today I should say, I feel like I'm getting really unlucky against Man United. Why Why did I shoot there? I'm an idiot. Okay, there's the end of the first half of extra time. Not long left to go. Look at the stats, by the way. We're definitely still in this. We have done pretty well, but Man United are winning the game. That's all that matters right now. I can still make one change, but I don't know if there's any players I want to bring on, so I think I'm going to... I'm going to stick with it. It's got me a goal already. It can get me another goal. Come on. Here's Rashford now. Is he going to try and run past me? No, he's gone for the pass to Mata. Oh, he's just done me. Mata has changed this game. He is. He has been so, so good. I thought Pogba going off would be a good thing, but clearly Mata coming on was even worse. But we get away with the corner. Hang, hang on. Please, please get there, please. Oh, my God. Luke Shaw almost gave it away there. Oh, no. No, 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 please go away. Yes, there we go. Right, let's get on the attack. Up to Geraldes. What do we do? Pass it over the top. Please, come on. Please, Abraham, please. It's not the best first touch ever. We've still got it. Come on, Shibola. Get the cross in, come on. Come on, come on, come on. No! No! This is just... Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's not over yet, come on. Abraham could be in here. Try a low-driven shot. No, not enough power on it, guys. That is going to be the end of the game. I think that was my last chance. Look how many players United have forward as well. Oh, no. Don't tell me Bailly's going to score again. I've missed my challenge. Here's Luke Shaw. Almost ended the game for it for me there. But, oh, I'm so, so disappointed. But also, I'm really proud of the team, guys. We did so well to get to the final, but Man United were just a step too far. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be lifting that trophy. I mean, fair play to Manchester United. They did deserve to win it in the end. Their team is something else right now in FIFA. It really is. Well, in real life as well, they, they've got a very strong team. And Ander Herrera is captain, apparently. He's going to lift the trophy. I can see Rooney in the background there, I think. Is that Rooney? Yeah, I think it is. And can I hear booing? I don't know, if you listen closely, there, there seemed to be some booing there. I don't think it was, though. Maybe it was like the fireworks or something. But there you go, guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't put that cherry on top and win the FA Cup, but the best team won. So now, guys, we are at the end of the season. We're just about to go into Season 2, and it's time to check the objectives overview. And I can say this is the first time in a career mode in FIFA 17 that I have ticked off every single objective. Look at this. Every single thing has been done. No wonder we finished with a 98 rating and we are way above target. So really, really happy with this. Everything has been done. We didn't have any continental success, of course, to do, but we will have in a couple of seasons, potentially if we're in Europe. But for now, everything else, we managed to achieve it. Even things like keeping salary growth under 15%. Even though we signed so many great players, we managed to, to do it properly. We sold a couple of players that had high wages, meaning we could bring in players that had high wages. You know, we did it well. And I'm really, really proud of this career mode so far. So there we go. Let's jump into season two, providing we've still got the job. We've got a ton of emails to go through. So Shibola has gone back. Dumitru's gone back. McCormack's gone back. Uh, Yates has come back to us. We've got 
McDonough coming back as well. I think a couple of these players are actually not coming back to us for next season because they've run out of contracts. But we've got Walker coming back, Grant coming back, Lika coming back. And also, we've got Manager of the Season Award. Thank you very much, Rebecca Pompey. Appreciate that. We are the best manager in the championship this season. We've still got the job, clearly. End of season review. We've come to the end of the season. The board could not be happier with your performance so far. So there you go, guys. We are going to be manager next season as if we were going to be fired after such an incredible season. And now it's time to find out what kind of budget we've got for season two. And here we are, guys. We're in the Premier League. Yes, I'm so excited to start this season. We've got Ipswich coming up with us and Newcastle as well. So those were the other two teams that got promoted. Now I know there's the, there's the bit that you're looking forward to, and that's finding out how much money we've got to spend. Let's take a look. Wait, what? Is that for real? 4.4 million? What? That is absolutely ridiculous. I was expecting at least 10. Wow, I'm genuinely shocked at that. That is really, really low. We're going to have to do quite a lot of, uh, of transfers with such a low budget. Maybe we just won't be able to afford a lot of players. But luckily, we've got a bunch joining us anyway. And that's probably why we don't have much money because a lot of the wage budget is going to be used up on free players coming on pre-contracts. But there we go, guys. That is it now for Season 1. We are going to be starting Season 2 in just a couple of days. And we're going to get those new players into the team. Thank you so much for watching and supporting Season 1. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating on this video. Please do follow me on, uh, on Twitter at OfficialMGH as well. If you could tweet me any feedback on the, on the series, anything you'd like to see, that'd be fantastic. And I will see you soon.